Water. It's one of mankind's most precious natural resources. Today, population growth and climate change have placed engineers at the forefront of creating innovative solutions that help maintain and improve their community's standard of living. In San Diego, engineers have devised a way to help provide fresh drinking water to residents in this densely populated and drought-stricken region. What is their solution? Place the Pacific Ocean on tap. The role of the seawater desalination plant is to provide a, a, a drought-proof supply of water from the Pacific Ocean, a, a, a new source of water that's not dependent upon snowpack or rainfall. It's effectively delinked from the hydrologic cycle, so you can always count on this one supply being available, regardless of whether it snows in the Rocky Mountains or snows in the Sierra Nevada, rains here in San Diego County, this supply is always going to be available. The Carlsbad desalinization plant became operational in December of 2015 and now provides safe drinking water to over 350,000 residents daily. This plant is an engineering marvel in itself. You can see the, the complexity of the piping system. These pipes connect the plant processes together. The main treatment process that removes the salt in the water is called reverse osmosis. Inside these white tubes, water passes through a semi-permeable membrane at high pressure. Water that gets through the membrane has the salt particles removed and is now fresh. The holes that make up the semi-permeable membrane inside these tubes are 500,000 times smaller than the size of a human hair. First of all, we need very clean water so you don't plug those holes. But we also need high pressure because the salts can't get through those little holes, so they get washed out through the back of the, the filter process. After the reverse osmosis process, minerals are added to ensure the produced water meets drinking water aesthetic and anti-corrosion standards. The final result is delicious drinking water sourced from the Pacific Ocean. Those of us on the coast have an option. We have the Pacific Ocean, we have technology available that will allow us to taken advantage of that source, and this is certainly not going to be the last plant of this nature that will be built here in California. In Orange County, California, 125 million gallons of wastewater per day are being treated and reused that would otherwise be discharged into the ocean. Turning wastewater from our homes and businesses into fresh drinking water begins at the Orange County Sanitation District. So the whole idea behind wastewater treatment is to separate the liquids from the solids. We want to recover all the water that we possibly can and treat it. And the solids have a lot of energy value, so we're, we're handling the solids separate from the water. We're able to extract the solids from the bottom and the, the grease from the top. The solids and the grease are sent to our solids handling portion to be able to be treated and sent off site. The water goes through a separate process. And that primary effluent trickles down over that plastic media and all the microorganisms that have made their home on that plastic media are actually taking care of all those organics that we don't want getting into our water bodies. The final step is a secondary clarifier that allows the water to settle for a few hours before passing over a weir. And at that point, it's safe to go on to be further treated for reuse or um, discharged to an ocean or a river body. Through a long-lasting partnership with the Orange County Water District, the treated wastewater moves next door and is prepared for reuse. The first of three advanced processes is called microfiltration. So the way to think of microfiltration is it's a man-made filter. It looks kind of like a series of hollow fiber straws. And what that process does is it can filter anything in the water that's greater than 0.2 micrometers. That's basically about 1 300th the diameter of a human hair. So now we're filtering down almost to the molecular level. The water then moves to reverse osmosis, which is the same process used in the desalinization plant in San Diego. The reverse osmosis is the workhorse. That's what really makes this process work and be successful. Reverse osmosis, which is essentially is a, a membrane, a man-made membrane. Membranes also occur in nature, biologically, through cells or other naturally occurring organisms. The final step is advanced oxidation. This combines hydrogen peroxide with ultraviolet light. That certain type of light will not only disinfect the water, but it can also form a chemical reaction with the peroxide. And what that chemical reaction does is further remove organics because of the way the 
the laboratory techniques have improved, we're able to see things down to the parts per trillion level, where in the past we were only able to see, if we were lucky, down to parts per million. The water has finally come full circle and is ready for consumption. Water engineering has come a long way since the ancient Romans. Engineers have played a crucial role in helping ensure a sustainable future. All water can end up in a place and in a condition that's suitable for drinking if the right engineered solutions are in place.